Welcome to the 77th National Congress. To start, please welcome the Executive Director of the National Speech and Debate Association, J. Scott One. Hello, I'm Scott One, National Tournament Director and Executive Director of the National Speech and Debate Association. And it is my honor to welcome you to the 2022 Congressional Debate Opening Sessions. Today, I'm simply going to present you with a challenge. You see, I think you have a unique opportunity as congressional debaters, an opportunity that many of the other debaters and speakers throughout the competition just don't have. You have been presented with a plethora of bills and resolutions on topics that literally could change the world. And because it's a competition, you might simply think, well, hey, is what we do really going to change the world? And I promise you, the answer is absolutely. By deliberating, dialoguing, and debating these issues, you are challenging yourself in ways that will give you lifelong skills that will not only benefit you in the future, but the rest of society. The reality is that sitting in those rooms on Monday morning are future leaders of our world. And the question is, what are you going to do with the opportunity to use your voice this week? What are you going to teach yourself what are you going to teach your judges? What are you going to teach your opponents? Let's take this opportunity this week to learn from one another. Let's be at our very best. Let's tackle these issues that some are unwilling to tackle. And I promise you at the end of the week, you will be very proud of your event and very proud of your experience this week. On behalf of the National Speech and Debate Association, on behalf of the Board of Directors and the staff, I welcome you to congressional debate. I welcome you to this incredible opportunity. Good luck. Hello, everyone, and congratulations on making it here today for the National Speech Association's National Tournament. This is an incredible accomplishment, and I wish you the best of luck. I, too, was a speech and debate kid. I took that love of language, of words, and learned that it can be used to help people. It helped me build a career in law, then as Kentucky's Attorney General, and now as Governor of the Commonwealth. And I know you too will create a path where your words make a difference. And the most exciting thing, this is the largest tournament in NSDA history, which means we have so many great leaders emerging to build a bright future. It's truly an exciting time. No matter what this competition holds, remember you have already achieved a remarkable accomplishment by being here today. Have fun, enjoy the competition, and enjoy Louisville. And never forget, you have a talent that can make a difference in this world. And you can use your words for so many different things. They can be used to harm, but they can also be used to help. Please, always use compassion. Always use them to look out for your fellow human being. Good luck, everyone. We are beyond excited to welcome everyone back live and in person to this year's Nationals. Thank you to the students, coaches, and judges who are going to make this tournament a great one. As usual, we have some logistical information for you. This year, the prelims of the House will be held at the Kentucky Expo Center. The prelims of the Senate will be held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Your specific chamber assignments will be blasted out one hour prior to session one. The first session will gavel in at 9 a.m. Your parliamentarian will administer the oath of office and at that time you will elect your session one presiding officer. Please be mindful of tournament policies regarding masking. Masks are required in chamber when not speaking as well as traveling between rooms. Masks are optional when speaking or performing in chamber. We will hold three preliminary rounds, two on Monday and one on Tuesday. On Wednesday, all ELIM rounds will be placed at the Kentucky Expo Center. 
We will start Wednesday with a joint assembly for all elimination participants. Lunches are available for purchase at both sites for students and adults. We recommend bringing cash to the Crown Plaza Hotel if you are competing or judging in the Senate. Please take advantage of these as there may not be sufficient time to leave the site, particularly from Expo Center, to grab lunch. Please follow the schedule in the tournament guidebook as Tuesday's rounds will begin at 8 a.m. Make sure you're in chamber prior to the start of the session. We will start the session on time. And finally, especially since we're back in person, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Please make sure you're drinking enough water, getting enough rest, and eating enough food between rounds. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Mrs. Burlap. Please note that we're using NSDA rules. While we appreciate the wide variety of norms and rules from across the country, follow the National Congress procedures as outlined in the tournament manual. The parliamentarian will have a unique list generated by tab room for each session. When setting initial precedence and recency, the elected presiding officer will use this list to determine who speaks when two or more competitors without any speeches rise for recognition. The list will be used from the bottom up to determine questioning periods in that session. Precedence and recency will reset for each session at this tournament. This year, all legislation from prelims through finals was submitted from students across the country and voted on by national qualifiers. All of our legislation is considered open. All competitors are eligible for sponsorship. If you wrote the legislation, congratulations and good job, but it's still considered open. All questioning at this tournament will be direct examination. The presiding officer will select speakers for 30 second periods, not the single question, single answer format. As we get a little bit further into the tournament itself, remember that we are congressional debate. Much like policy or public forum or Lincoln Douglas, there are multiple parts. All debates start with a constructive, which is our sponsorship or our first negative. Many students are reluctant to deliver these sponsorships, but they're crucial for defining the legislation and providing ground for the debate. Without this ground, the remaining speeches are grasping at straws. There are extensions, the 2A or 2N, which expand upon the issues in the debate. There are rebuttals, which clash against prior speakers and provide arguments as to your own correctness. And the final focus of Congress, or the crystallization. All parts are important. Debate cannot begin without our constructive speeches. When students are unprepared or unwilling to sponsor, and a recess must be taken to write, that hurts the strength of the debate by weakening the constructive. Your judges were asked to consider all parts of the debate today when deciding on ranking, as well as the quality and participation of the presiding officer. There is no base. There is no agreement to only speak a certain number of times. Sessions should last the time for which they are scheduled. Similarly, there is no guarantee everyone will get to speak on a particular bill. Ask yourself what the judges might prefer. Fresh debate on new legislation or providing stale arguments as the 11th speech on a particular bill? Francesca Zappia, in her book, Eliza and Her Monsters, says, I do have friends. Maybe they live hundreds of miles away from me, and maybe I can only talk to them through a screen, but they're still my friends. The past two years have been rough. While online tournaments allowed us to continue having speech and debate, a national tournament, and they provided opportunities for more people to attend competitions far from home, there's something about being in person which just can't be replicated by an online experience. Holding this Nationals in person will be a challenge. We need to learn how to work together in real time once again. 
Procedures which we vaguely remember from three nationals ago need to be relearned and reformed. Being online let us shed some paperwork, but also showed us what's best done by hand rather than by Google. Most importantly, we need to bring back the sense of community which sometimes gets lost in the turmoil of unstable internet connections, low bandwidth mode, and forms sent by a chat. Congress, more than any other event, is a social experience as well as a competition. As we begin this national tournament, remember that everyone here is an important part of our community. Let us strive for an inclusive tournament where everyone feels they had equitable opportunities for success and everyone walks away knowing that they did their best regardless of their finish. Whether this is your first national competition or even if you were with us back in 2019, leave here knowing that you made a positive mark in someone's tournament experience. We will see you Monday morning at nine o'clock in your chambers. Good luck to all of you.